Welcome back now to Primetime Sports Monday. Former world's fastest man Asafa Powell says he is looking forward to the world relays next month, despite one track and field analyst criticising the quality of the team recently. A number of people may have been raising eyebrows upon seeing some of the names on Jamaica's team for the world relays next month. That including veteran coach Raymond Casey Graham, who bemoaned what he called a lack of quality on the men's side. But former 100-metre world record holder Asafa Powell says he's looking forward to the event despite the criticisms. Yeah, man, well, really, for sure. You know, I'm, I'm on the, the list for the team and um, I couldn't be more happy with that. To be on another national team, to be out there in the national gear, you know, I really take pride in that. 38-year-old Powell is listed on the 4 by 100 meters team and though he says he hasn't had a look on the squad as yet, he always believes the best athletes should make themselves available to represent the country. Well, you know, I don't really know the team as yet, you know, but I think based on how everything is going, we should always send out the strongest team, you know, send out all the best athletes out there just to prove to the world that, you know, we're still here. Powell is listed along with the fellow Olympic relay gold medalist Nesta Carter, Julian Fort, Shane Bailey, Nigel Ellis, Romaria Williams and Kadrian Gosen in the 4 by 100 metre pool. In the meantime, double Olympic champion Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, who has been under the guidance of St. Elizabeth Technical High School head coach Ronaldo Walcott since leaving the MVP track club last year, has opted out of the world relays. But the decorated sprinter didn't give a reason for her decision when TVJ Sports caught up with her at the weekend. No comment, no comment. <laughs> and Powell agreed that the government's lifting of the restrictions to allow competition is critical at this time. And definitely, you know, um, we have been having good results so far and, you know, we, we're no, no arm, you know, so definitely we can get back on track. J3's president, Garth Gale, while acknowledging that the time is closing in on preparation for the major events, still believes the nation's athletes and coaches will get it right. I believe our athletes, with their coaches taking full charge of them, will ensure that they get them to the level that is needed. We have lost some time, that's for sure. But I'm confident that we can get our team, our athletes, in good condition to be able to do us proud at these events. The Velocity Fest was the first meet held for seniors following the culmination of three consecutive weekends of partial lockdowns ending on April 12th.